Okay, so this is an overview of my Kenner Boba Fett focus. Uh, we'll start down here in the front. And I don't know if you can tell with the lighting, but these four right here are the painted helmet Boba Fetts. I actually did a separate video of those uh, before if you want to look that one up. Blue painted helmet Boba Fett. These were all made in Taiwan, these first two rows right here. And the Taiwan Boba Fetts are my favorite ones. They uh, have a much darker belt, for instance, um, than, say, the Kenners, which were usually more of a brown color. And usually just a little bit better paint detail. That's one of my favorite ones. That one's just kind of the colors have faded in a really cool way. So these are all made in Taiwan, which I believe the name of that factory was Universal Manufacturers. Um, the rest of these are all made in Hong Kong. Only one factory in Hong Kong made Boba Fett, and that was the Cater Factory. And you can see a good shot of them here. Um, this row that we're looking at right here, these are all what we call the Big C copyright Boba Fetts. And uh, when you look at the little thing right there at the top of his, his uh, arm, there's no dot there, whereas the other ones, you can see a little bump right there on the top. And then here there isn't. So that's one way you can tell that you have a Big C Boba Fett. I did a video on those too. If you ever want to look at that it's really cool and they have a different a uh, little bit different shade of green on the chest paint too but you just get an idea of the different colors of chest paint um, the visors different on all of them um, they have a few different country of origin and date stamp marks on them in the back there's a bagged one it says made in Hong Kong never been opened and there's an Empire Strikes Back card back. A Return of the Jedi made in Taiwan card back. An advertisement for the remove or for the rocket firing FET, which was never released. And there's their little apology note. Let's move him out of the way. The little apology note. When I was a kid, we did get Boba Fett in the mail. And it came with that note. That's not the note from my childhood. Unfortunately, I didn't keep that. But that's it there. And that's the advertisement they had. He was supposed to come with a rocket firing mechanism in a, the backpack. Kenner thought that they'd shoot a kid's eye out, so they decided not to do it. And made a fixed rocket and sent that little apology note. And there's one on a Star, a Star, a Star Wars card. That's the figure and gun that it came with. Gun is still taped inside. So that's my Kenner... Boba Fett collection. Put this guy back. And you probably see I probably don't need to buy any more Boba Fetts. But uh, it's a really cool figure. A lot of different variants in the paint colors and the chest. Um, even here with the big C's. I don't know if you can tell, but this one and this one, you can see a light brown and dark, almost black uh, brown in the middle. So the, the paint on the legs for the belt is a lighter brown and the paint on the torso on the belt is a blackish brown. This one's the other way around. This one's got a, more of a maroon brown in the middle and a dark brown on the legs. So they call those bitone or bicolor belts. And those are really cool. They just mixed up the parts is all at the factory. So there you have it. That's my Kenner Boba Fett focus. Between those and the European releases and the Lily Leedy, I have a little over 50 Boba Fetts. So I should probably sell a few. But anyway, that's the display. And I hope you like it.